the, so a sphere, whoops, a sphere, you don't really need to write down the definition, but you guys know what it is. Most famous sphere is probably Earth, okay, which is not actually a perfect sphere, it's actually fatter around the equator. So a sphere, normal definitions still apply. Radius, diameter, still mean the same thing. A chord is still any two points um, on the sphere, all right? The surface area of the, sphere, of the sphere is when we peeled our orange, when we peeled our orange, how many circles do we fill up? Four, all right? I know some of you fill up five. The correct answer is four, okay? That was my fault, I think. So we fill out four. So the surface area of the sphere, which is the same as our orange, was four. Well, what's the area of one circle? Pi r squared. Yeah. So the surface area of the sphere is four pi r squared. All right. Does this make sense? You pull apart all the edges of the sphere, rearrange them, and you get four little circles. So it's 4 pi r squared. Notice that the radius of our sphere was the same as the radius of our circle because we took our orange and drew it. If you had a smaller orange, you'd have less surface area, but your circle would also be smaller, right? If you used a kiwi, although it's not quite circular, you'd have a much smaller circle, but when you peeled it, it would be different. Carlos, and then there was another question. Uh, Carlos? This is 12.6. The last section we're going to do. So the surface area of the sphere is pi r squared. Um, we're going to fly through this stuff. So the surface area is 4 pi r squared. Plug in your value. It's 4 pi h squared. 4 pi times 64. 64 times 4 is? 256. Pi. What are my units? Um, uh, is it cubed or squared? Squared. Squared. Why? We're finding the area. We're not finding the volume here. Remember, the peel is all the way around the outside. <coughs> it's the area. So it's going to be inches squared. Okay. Carlos. Is there a, such a thing? Um, not that, not that you will experience in real life. Right? We only exist in three dimensions. Are you sure? No, I'm not. Technically, there's te supposedly eleven of them, but the only thing that you ever come in contact with are the three. Okay. I'm happy to talk to you after school about it. <laughs> what? So is there? Ladies, and gentlemen, talk quickly. Um, okay, guys, calm down, please. All we need to find the surface area is the radius, right? Freshman, quiet, please. All we need to find the surface area is the radius. Correct. And it's just how much to find the radius? Uh, they might give you a diameter instead, but usually they're not much harder than that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's not like some X problem? <coughs> um, you could make a problem like that, but it would have to be. It would have to be like spheres packed into a package or something like that. You can make them harder, but not. The formula is pretty straightforward. All right. The surface area of the sphere is 20.25 pi square centimeters. What is the diameter of the sphere? So here they ask for diameter instead of radius. Pardon? Yep. Oh, okay. So you put 20.25 pi. Oh, wait. Hang on one sec. Let me stop you. Uh, People have a tendency to drop the pi. I don't know why. All right. Make sure. I know. It ain't a crime that I rhyme. All right. Make sure that you include the pi. All right. Or say goodbye. Good point. All right. All right. I'm done. So that equals 4 pi r squared. Uh, can I divide by 4 pi? Sorry, this is equal. The pi's cancel. 20.25 divided by 4. Uh, it's going to be 5 point something. Uh, 
Now we need to take the square root of both sides. Mm -hmm. 2.25. Oh, notice. Notice, guys. Classic. Oh, I got it. 2.25. That's on my answer sheet, so I'm right. Nailed it. Next problem. Exactly. Make sure you multiply by 2. So your answer is this. The other answer, look at look at how good they are at putting wrong answers. 20.25, okay, that one's kind of wrong. 2.25, I can see a lot of students picking that. I can see students picking this one because it's correct. The other one is, if you try and multiply that by this by 2, I can see a lot of students being off by 1, and saying 5.5 instead of 4.5. They pick answers on purpose to mess you up, right? Do not let them mess you up. Um, I want to talk about this real quickly. So, you need to be quiet, but I don't, no notes, okay? Non-Euclidean geometry, all right? Everything we have done has been Euclidean. Euclidean means on a plane, all right? Or is three dimensions. So, in, when we talk about three dimensions, we can do geometry like on the surface of a um, prism, right? The top and the bottom, because it's a flat plane. What we've not learned is how to do geometry on a sphere. Um, when you cut a sphere, you should know this, the top and the bottom, like eastern and western hemispheres, northern and southern hemispheres. Hemisphere is in the top of the sphere. The circle around the middle, where it cuts it, the, the belt of the sphere, what's the belt of Earth? Equator. The equator. That's called a great circle. Okay. You could also cut it this way and have a great circle. You could also cut it diagonally and have a great circle, as long as you cut it in half. So the great circle is the largest circle that would go around the sphere. Are there other circles that go around up top? Yes, yes. yes. like the Tropic of Cancer, the Tropic of Capricorn, right? Those are famous <laughs> latitudes, right? The Arctic Circle is another circle. It's just much higher. The Antarctic Circle, okay? Uh, yes, Naomi. The, the equator is, yes, there is no, technically there's no middle of the circle, but yes, I understand your question. Yes, in the middle. It is equally divided on the top to the bottom. Um, <coughs> one of the problems that people face, don't pay, don't need to write this down, just listen. One of the problems people face is how to project things like a globe on a flat piece of paper. There are several different ways that people do this. Think about trying to wrap a basketball on wrapping paper. It would not quite work. You'd have to crumple your paper. You would need a box, basically, right? It wouldn't work. Same thing is the problem with maps. Maps, by their nature, if they're on a flat piece of paper, are wrong. Okay? It is impossible to fit a sphere and unroll it into a perfect rectangle. It would not work. This would not cover the sphere perfectly. You'd either have to crank it up or it'd be short. So what map makers do is they distort certain things. There are different, what they're called projections. All right? Uh, I forget which one is. This is the Mercator projection. I don't really know much more than that. But I know that the common one that they use is that they, they shrink the things towards the pole. So things like Greenland, which is actually much bigger than this, get trumped. Things like Alaska, which is actually much bigger than that, get trumped. Things like Antarctica get shrunk, okay? Because nobody lives there. They shrink to places that people don't need to see much, right? The places that people care about are mostly across the center, so they try and keep those the same. They can also do it different ways. If they wanted to, they could make Antarctica and, and um, Greenland the same, and they'd have to shrink or change a little bit the middle part, right? Would you notice? Probably not. All right. However, if you're a sailor or an airplane or something like that, you need to have much better map. Yep. Um, it's not necessarily a flaw. You just have to be aware of it. So, in my life, will it affect me? No, never. 
But if I'm flying an airplane, I need to be aware that the distances that I see on my flat map, I need to know how my map was made, basically. Is my map made so that it's true near where I am, or is it made that it's distorted a little bit? Okay. Weird stuff happens when you have geometry on a sphere. This is a triangle. Here's a triangle, and I think that's Tokyo, but I can't, I don't, actually that's not Tokyo. I don't know what city that is. But here's a triangle, see how it zoomed in? It's kind of hard to see. <coughs> in Japan somewhere. Here's the city. When you talk about a triangle on a flat piece of paper, or a flat piece of land, how many degrees are there total? 180. Right? Now, is technically this little plot of land flat? No. 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 I mean, technically if I walk, you know, a mile outside, technically I'm curving a little bit because I'm on the edge of the earth, right? But you would never notice. However, when you start talking about spherical geometry, which is geometry on a sphere, weird stuff happens. For example, this is still a triangle. It goes from the North Pole down here. I think that's the equator. It goes through Indonesia. That's probably the equator. It goes to the equator, takes a right turn, takes another right turn, goes all the way back to the North Pole. It's still a triangle because it has three angles and three sides, but it no longer adds up to 180. So weird stuff happens when you go to the spheres. Right? Isn't that kind of weird? No. So, just wanted to show you that there are other types of geometry, all right? Now, you can take, if you want to, you can take geometry like this in college, all right? Um, things, like, things like satellites. You don't work on a flat plane if you're trying to design satellites. How do you, you need to know where your satellite's going so it doesn't hit other things, right? Well, you can't do that on a flat plane. You have to do it rotating around the Earth, all right? So, it happens all the time. Things like rockets. You shoot a rocket or a missile at somebody. You're not going to shoot it on a flat plane because it's going to go so far you need to think about the curve. So for most of the things in our life, flat's perfect. However, when you start thinking about it on a much bigger scale, you need to think about it. It's beautiful. Yep? 23. The other thing we need to know is the volume of the sphere. Throw so back to the notes, please. Sorry. The volume of the sphere. This one, uh, how to draw a sphere, draw a circle, draw a belt, and then dash the belt around the back. All right. All right. The volume of the sphere, unfortunately, there's no little cute thing we can do with oranges. So it's four thirds. Pi R, volume is going to be units what? Cubed, so it's going to be pi R cubed, okay? Um, to help you remember, you might want to think the 4 is like the surface area. Remember it was 4 pi R squared? Remember the over 3 came from the volume of pyramid? I mean, they're unrelated, but that might help you remember. I, I don't really know where this comes from. It's much, you need much more complicated math and calculus. Yep? Um, well, one reason is that the units have to be cubed, right, for volume. Volume is always units cubed. This is my only dimension, so it has to be to the third power in order to get the units cubed. Uh, the formula, we don't have enough math to, to tell you, so you just kind of trust it for this. Does that make sense? You, have, you, would, you would be able to do it if you use calculus. Yes, sir. Isn't pi what? Pi is not a unit. Pi is a unit list. So there are no units on pi. Pi is never, it's not like pi inches, pi centimeters. It's just pi. Pi is defined as the ratio of the circumference to the diameter. So pi is defined as circumference over diameter. Circumference is inches, diameter is inches. Inches over inches, they end up canceling each other canceling each other out. Feet over feet, cancel. Meters over meters, cancel. So pi will never have the unit. Okay. So this is your formula for the volume of the sphere. <coughs> a soccer ball has a diameter of 9 inches, find its volume. 
Euro Cup starts this summer. Are going to talk to him? All right. Um, so the volume is four thirds pi r cubed. The radius is what here? 4.5 because it's half the diameter. So four thirds pi 4.5 cubed. Uh, do you guys know how to cube a calcu on the calculator? You can do it two ways. One is if you go to the math menu. If you go to the math menu, there's a little three, like to the power of three. The other option is you can type it in like this. Make sure you put it in parentheses. 4.5, and then the little carrot guy, and then a 3. It's called a carrot, yeah. Don't know why. Right underneath clear is on the right side. Oh, it's not 4.5. Total? Yeah, it's the third. I don't really care. Don't, you just leave it. Okay? Uh, last problem today. Volume of a composite solid. This is a um, cylinder, and then there's half a sphere that's been cut out of it. Everybody see that? Yes. So it's like you could throw some water in the top. So this has been carved out of the top of it. So the volume, how would I find the volume? Kimberly? Volume of the cylinder. Volume of half a sphere, so instead of that, let's just say minus half the volume of the sphere. Is that okay? Okay. Uh, the volume of the cylinder. Cylinder is what? Um, pi, r pi r squared h minus half. What's the volume of the sphere? By thir four thirds pi r cubed. Uh, I think they give us everything we need. So we just plug and chug. The volume is equal to pi. What's r for the cylinder? Two squared. What's the height? Two. two. Minus. Let's multiply these two fractions together. When I multiply, what do I do? Cross multiply across. across. We do not cross multiply. When do we cross multiply? When it's proportion. There's a what in the middle? Equals. Carlos? Yes. Um, uh, assume, yeah, assume that that's half. So this would be 4 over 6. Pi, what's R for the sphere? It can be the same thing, because we can pull this up. And it's going to be the same right here, okay? So that's going to be 2 as well. So it's going to be 2 cubed. All right? Simplify. 2 squared is? 4. four. Times 2. Eight. 8 pi for the cylinder. Minus 4 6. Well, 4 6 reduces to 2 thirds. 2 to the third? Don't type it in your calculator. 8 pi. Okay? And then the last part, let's simplify a little bit. 8 pi minus, remember 8, this is technically 8 over 1. Multiply across, so it's 8 times 2 in the numerators. 16 over 3 pi. All right. No, because this is multiplied to 10 okay. And then the last part is you can write it either like this, that would be fine. You can type it in a calculator, or you could combine it. You could pull both of them out. So you could do 8 minus 16 thirds pi if you wanted to, because the pi is going to be times both of these. Carlos? Composite solid just means more than one shape. So here we have a cylinder and a sphere. It could be a cone and a prism, uh, two cylinders, it can be whatever. It could be, a dish, it could be next to, it's added on to, or cut out of. Any, any complicated shape, basically, where it's more than one thing. Yep. Yep. Ladies, you have a question? Okay, can that back up, please? I, I noticed. All right. Um, 
Homework? There it is. That's the original Chipotle. I'm not and I want to talk about um, our plans for the coming the coming days. Okay, so write this down very quickly. Nope. I know you always say you're going to post it. I forgot yesterday.